Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome to a new devlog about my game Volunteers. Alright, so what we did last time was to connect our game to a playfab instance so we can pop servers as we want. It's been a long time since we did progress on Volunteers because I was busy doing tutorials for you and doing a game jam, I guess. But hey, guess what? That's not over. We still have a lot of stuff to do. So let's jump into it, I guess. What I wanted to do for this vlog was to add content to the game so we can add more game mechanics. Right now in the game we only have an assault rifle, a pistol and a knife and I think it's required for us to have more weapons. But while I was doing this, God at 4 came out. Dang it! I know it's still in beta and everything but I think it's a good idea to switch right now while the project is still small. The guy's an idiot. So I guess we'll take all the cool new features and we'll put them right into the trash. All right, before to convert my actual project, I need to do something important. I need to convert my network library so it's compatible with Godot 4. Basically, it's the network library I created for my game so I can easily handle all the server authoritative part. I do it in a separated project so it's easier for me to debug the small things like that. And after that, I can bring all the stuff over in my actual project. Well, it looks like I managed to make it work in Godot 4, I'm happy with it. Alright, so I guess it's time, right, to convert the actual project? Let's do it. Yeah, conversion, blah blah blah. Well, what could go wrong anyway? Convert the full project. Oh my god, that's a lot of changes. One eternity later. It took me so long to fix everything in my project. I mean, they did a really good job converting most of the stuff, but for other parts, that was just broken. So I had to fix a lot of stuff, for example the animations here, but at the end it was working. I was so happy with it. I was able to play with my character and everything. Everything was synced on the network. Obviously the biggest part is still to come. As you can see I'm in a grey box and I used to have maps in my game. And for maps, I was using this plugin, the 8map plugin from Zilan, which is not available in Godot 4. I mean, that makes sense. Who wants to convert the old library for a beta version of an engine? I'm pretty sure this awesome plugin will be converted to Godot 4 when there will be an official release, but in the meantime, I think I need to figure out something myself. There will be a lot to do because in my case, I use it to generate grass and all the streets and everything, and also the 8 map, so. Oh my god. Dang it! Don't get me wrong, I knew I would have this problem when I started to convert my project, but the thing is, I prefer to convert my project now while everything is not too complex. My first attempt was to actually convert myself the old Zilan plugin, and yeah, that took me a long time to at least have something that compiles. At the end, I was able to at least enable the plugin inside of the plugin manager. And yeah, it was enabled and I also had this awesome small icon here telling me that there is something. But I only add that small flat terrain here. It also has some strange stuff in it, like this. I guess this is some shader, but I don't know. There was a lot of stuff broken, so I guess at this point I wasn't quite sure I wanted to continue in this path. So I guess I'm gonna try something different. Do it! This is the perfect time to try shaders. I never played with them, so I guess this is the moment we're gonna do it. Well, that was easy. Awesome. Yes. All right, I'm kidding. Of course, I did way more experiment than that. I did a lot and a lot of testing before I got something to work. And at some point, I get something that looks a little bit like my previous map. Wow, and I have this bike here. I don't know what it is. Anyways, that looks great, but I need more stuff, like for example, textures. My first attempt at texturing the map was to layer all the textures on top of each other, but of course that was not perfect. It was pretty hard to get all the textures to be blind together smoothly. So yeah, at the end, I decided to change for a splat map technique, and this is similar to what Zilands used in his 8map plugin. So I think I'm good with this, and this was really fun to do. And again, this is my first experiment with shaders. I was happy just to give it a try. The next thing is I was using grass in my game. So time to generate grass. I used a GPU article system for this. So it means that each blaze of grass is in fact a particle. 
also missing it. I also knew that one of my map uses different kind of grass, so I had to support several layers of grass like that. I know it's not perfect, but for now that is enough for the conversion and I already improved it using a Perlin noise to create a distance between all the grass and to make it less aligned like that. But you know what? All of this to have this map back in my game, I was able with my system to take what has been created with the Xenon's plugin and to get it back working in my game with my shaders and everything. It's not 100% exactly the same as what I had previously, but this is really close and I'm happy with it. So the exact 8 map has been applied with the map. So I have the same thing here. I have the grass being applied at almost the same place it was before. So this is also really good. You see this This is a little bit different. Probably some grass is going through the tent and everything. But that's fine for now. Also I have the textures being applied. And wait what? What is this? Isn't it supposed to be a big factory? Oh well, I guess I will have to fix some stuff, but yeah. At least I have my texture being applied, all the streets are good enough. Let's have a look at the other map. Awesome, it also works. I have all my textures again and... What is this? What? Well, apparently this is all due to the conversion, but that's fine, that's fixable. Well, look at this, I have my map working again. And I didn't mention it, but I also generate a collision mesh, so I can actually walk and everything everywhere on the map. The 8 map is working pretty well. I had some crashes when I was placing too much lights on the map, but... That's fine, we can add them later. I guess that's about it. I mean, I think we can say now that Volunteers is on Cutout 4. I'm really happy with it. It was a really long process, but at least this step is done and we can move forward doing some more cool stuff and more feature for the game. Alright folks, I hope you enjoyed it and we're gonna see each other on the next one.